Tires, welcome to another episode of Man Fly Desk. Today we are going to tie an articulated fly called a Goldie. And this is my own personal rendition of the Goldie. I like to... Now what an articulated fly is, is it's basically two, two parts of the hook, right? And you're going to hook that part in and then the fly is going to wiggle in the water um, in the current. And so with an articulated fly, a lot of times you'll use a hook with a uh, bigger eye so that you get more movement in the fly. So this fly is one that Trevor and Jeremy have been using to catch some big nice browns. So we are going to do a video on it. So what I'm going to do is brighten our camera up just a little bit and we're going to go to work on this. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some red ultra thread and this is the 140, so it's a little thicker and so this is going to be the tail part of the fly I'm just going to cut that off alright now with the goldie we're going to use some white strung marabou and then we're going to use uh, some crystal flash and I've got to remember where I put it right there so this is some gold crystal flash with a little bit of rainbow in it just gives it a little bit more shine so this is some flashaboo and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some on first I'm going to go right to the end of the hook and then what we're going to do is we're going to get a piece of strung marabou we're going to get a nice fluffy piece simply tie that in and then what we're going to do is we're going to get another piece we're going to tie it on the bottom got quite a bit of marabou sticking out and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some more of the splashaboo I primarily use goldies when I'm fishing for German browns you can see where I cut that flashaboo just a little bit longer my marabou and then I'm going to put some more on the sides probably one more little clump right here on the other side anyway uh, people started using goldies I read did a little research on them when the German Browns were keyed in on spinners on creeks, um, fly tires would tie these goldie patterns to really imitate a spinner that was nice and bright and shiny. Um, they've since evolved and they're, they're actually a really good minnow pattern. So next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to get some gold ribbing wire.
Okay. Let's put this gold ribbing wire. You can use a bunch of different types of bodies on a goldie. I like to use a, it's a golden stone um, flashy dubbing. So what we're gonna do is just roll that on. I'm going to take my ribbing wire and I'm going to just wrap it through nice and tight to hold it together. So what I like to use goldies for is in um, creeks that have whitefish in them because it will imitate a juvenile whitefish. Okay, so we'll take that, and we're just going to whip finish it. Oops, butchered that one. Try that again. Alright, just like that. Okay, and then what we're going to do is get our handy little brush here. Brush it out. Gives it a nice look in the water as well. Okay, so that's going to be our trailer part. I'm going to take that out and then I'm going to put in. So, what we do is we take our Goldie trailer, we pop it in there just like that. And I like to pop mine in. right there okay so now you can see we got the full effect of the fly so what we're gonna do is we're gonna tie this on first and I actually like to put just a little tiny bit of super glue over this really get it cinched down good. All right, so the next step, we're going to get some more flashaboo. Just lay it right on top. Actually, going to go all the way to the tail. I pull that. And we'll get a nice little clump of marabou. One more clump in right here on the bottom, just like so. You can see I'm pretty, pretty liberal with my marabou because once it gets in the water, it's all going to flow back. All right, then we're going to get our ribbing wire once again. Tie 
that in nice and tight. Okay, and then with this step, once I've got my ribbing wire tied in, I then like to go to the front of the fly, and I'm using some 3 16 dumbbell eyes. You can see that. couple wraps here and then we we'll actually do a figure eight with these eyes and then I'll even put a little bit of super glue on it and I'll keep doing my figure eight It's nice and tight. So you can see got our eyes popping out. That's going to give the fly some weight and some life. All right, now what we'll do is we'll go back. And we'll get our highlight dubbing again. So I stop right there where my eyes are. I'm going to take our ribbing wire and I'm going to bring it through the dubbing. Fairly even. Okay. Just like so. All right, then what we're going to do is we're going to take some more of our marabou, keep it white. I cut a clump of marabou off. I'll kind of pull this, all the pieces I'm not going to use. And I want that marabou to flow into the back part. Just like that. And then on this front part, I like to put my flash on the side. on that side whoops clump of marabou and then this time we'll put around the bottom just like so alright Okay, so you can see the shape that we're getting. Looks like a lot of marabou, but once that 
gold eagles into the water, it really um, comes to life. And what we're going to do is we're going to build our head up. with some dubbing. Tangled in there, but just improvise it. So I'll go two wraps around a figure eight. And then I'll simply finish the fly. You can see I've got a nice little head, pretty little eyes. Make sure I didn't have my head looking good. Now we'll plot our whip finisher. Now remember I I love using red thread, especially on streamers. So I believe red and orange is a trigger color for fish. There we go. Just gonna trim this out. Okay. So on this one, we're gonna get a little bit of. Okay, and there you have it, my friends. The Goldie Fly. Articulated. That's going to go nice through the water. And we have some video footage, I believe, that we'll put in this video of it actually catching some fish, which is nice. So there you have it, my friends. The Goldie. Thank you for watching.